Officially, I'm streaming on so many platforms right now. Uh, this is actually the first time I feel like I've been streaming on this many uh, platforms at one time, uh, but happy to have all, you all in here. For those of you who are big time Supreme heads, welcome in. We are getting back into the 2024 schedule and Supreme is going to be up to date with their week one starting on Thursday. Uh, so this is a really exciting time. I'm really stoked for this week. There's a couple things I think I'm definitely going to want to go for. Uh, I'm going to be showing some images if you're watching me live on YouTube of the drop list for week one. Definitely let me know uh, what you plan on picking up this first week. And um, I can't wait to talk about what I'm most excited about. If you're not already subscribed on all my different platforms, be sure to subscribe now and give these videos a thumbs up. And uh, we're going to get into this drop list as soon as I pull up some images. But um, I don't know. Supreme has been a little finicky lately. Let me know your thoughts. What did you all think about Supreme for 2023? Did you take a break? Did you pick some pieces up last year? Or are you really just stoked to uh, go after some items today? I am still just trying to figure out what I really want to save my money for. And um, I don't know if I'm going to wait for some pieces to drop later in the year, if I'm going to go all out with some of the pieces that I'm seeing this week. Definitely have a bit of a buildup from last year already. And uh, I was actually going through my Supreme Tees, realizing how many t-shirts I actually have in my collection. It's pretty insane. I feel like I, I really need a dedicated dresser for just my Supreme Tees alone. Uh, for those of you who are hopping in for the first time, listening to me talk about Supreme, welcome in. I know that I took a bit of a break in 2023 just because I wasn't as excited about a lot of the Supreme pieces that were dropping. And, um, you know, it's just kind of been up and down. And definitely I feel like the creative director position has been kind of inconsistent. And I definitely feel like this year will be interesting. Uh, Maison Margiela is definitely one of the collaborations I think a lot of you are definitely looking forward to. I don't know about the pricing of it. One of the things with Supreme sometimes is I get really excited about these collabs and unfortunately what ends up happening is they're just out of my price range. Um, but uh, a lot of people are looking at the accessories. I've definitely been on the Supreme accessory train, like hardcore. I absolutely feel like Supreme has been killing it with the accessory division. And one of the things I like about Supreme accessories is you can actually use them. So I even like, I feel like my chopsticks, that's been something I've been randomly using a lot, but I have like all of these different random Supreme lights. I've got, you know, all these different clocks and stuff that I always use. So I really just been on the Supreme bandwagon when it comes to the accessories. I feel like I always have to cop something when uh, they release, but definitely excited to see what they'll be releasing for the accessories here. And um, yeah, 
definitely excited to to jump in to this drop list. It looks like people are wanting the Burberry collab again. I have to agree with you on that Burberry collab. I still think that like my Burberry denim jacket is top notch. Like I get so many compliments on that Supreme collab all the time. And of course I've got the BOGO with the Burberry on it. Definitely let me know in the chat as well what is your favorite Supreme, you know, piece that you picked up from previous collections? What do you hope that, you know, they add back into the collab section of each week? <laughs> Restock the Supreme money gun. That was a sick drop piglet. I'm not going to lie. Uh, definitely the money, the money gun, I feel like made its way around all the different platforms. And uh, I think people had fun just creating content with the, the money game or money game, money gun. Uh, but we've got, you know, some interesting pieces for those of you who are cactus um, plant flea market fans. There is definitely, you know, a couple pieces on the list from uh, them. I will tell you why I'm not as excited for that jacket to be dropping. But, um, you know, there's a, there's a lot of different things that uh, I think we have to look forward to specifically some just key staple pieces. If you are a big Supreme head, definitely let me know in the chat, especially if you're jumping on one of these other streaming platforms I haven't streamed on before, let me know. And uh, we're gonna jump into this list and talk about what's gonna be dropping on Thursday. And definitely let me know if you are somebody who picks up pieces in store, you like to go and uh, get it the day of, or if you're somebody who just hops online because you're not near a Supreme store. I know that definitely it's a little rough trying to, to jump in there and wait in line to pick things up, at least in New York. You know, there's definitely been some interesting, crazy things happening, uh, lining up for Supreme and of course getting a good number so that you can actually get something that you want. Uh, but definitely so happy to see all of you in here. Um, we've got a lot of people on different streams. I'm looking at like three cameras in front of me. So this is new for me too. Ah, the Ducati helmet. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Especially if you have a bike piglet, you definitely have to go for that. They should drop a Jordan again. I would be so ecstatic if Supreme dropped a Jordan club, not gonna lie. Uh, I feel like a lot of the sneaker collaborations that we've been seeing from them have not been as exciting. And I feel like this is the year, maybe, um, you know, this is definitely a year that we definitely need to have, I feel like a good sneaker collaboration. Uh, it's been a minute since I feel like we've been super excited about one from Supreme. I know that, you know, dunks have kind of been what I've really been excited about in the past, but I could definitely see maybe potentially a Jordan coming our way. We're just going to put that out in the universe. <laughs> yeah, everybody says Jordans. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down with you. Let's just put it out there in the air. Maybe Supreme's listening and watching us right now as well as Jordan's team. And uh, they'll talk about putting a collab together. <laughs> Yes, 2024, is, this is going to be a great year. I feel it. It's the year of the dragon. Uh, happy Chinese New Year to everyone out there as well. Happy Black History Month as well. We got a lot going on in the month of February. <laughs> yes, I, I agree with you, IP Soldier. But um, I'm going to pull up some images now, bring up this drop list, just so everybody can kind of see some images. I can't really share them on here, but I'll be a little bit more descriptive if you're not with me on YouTube. But, uh, you know, they got a lot going on for the first week. Typically, you know, it's a bit of a larger drop. And uh, yes, happy Lunar New Year, everyone. So uh, really excited. It's the year of the dragon. Shout out to those of you who are dragons. Let me know in the comments if you are. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what this year has in store for all of us. I'm going to share my screen right now with everyone. Oops, that's a little too zoomed in. And let's go through it. Let's talk about, you know, some of the pieces. I'm going to start at the bottom of the list, which typically this is not the most exciting pieces, but let me just zoom in so we can see it here. So we have the satin track pants, some Gore-Tex track pants, a lot of track pants going on, um, but these track pants are actually kind of expensive. Let me know in the comments. Would you pay $198 for some, I guess they're Gore-Tex, so that's weatherproof, uh, but would you pay 200 pants? 
or do you want the entire fit, which would probably honestly cost you around $400, which is a bit of a steep price in my opinion for a tracksuit. But um, if you want 50-50, it'll cost you around $200. Uh, that probably is why these are the last ranked items. And uh, yeah, $198. I think I'm going to pass on that. We do have a New York arc six panel hat and a twill patch five panel hat. These hats are not exciting. Um, I feel like I definitely have been a bit pickier when it comes to any of my Supreme caps that I've purchased in the past. These ones are not that exciting in my opinion. Uh, not too crazy on the designs and um, yeah, it's all right. Ah, Royal Kicks, you're gonna go for the satin ones you think. Okay. That's a little bit easier on the price range of things, I would say. It's not the $200 pair, but uh, satin definitely, I feel like, is a is a good-looking um, tracksuit. Then we have the Sick SS Top. So typically, week one, we get a lot of tees in the mix, which I think most of us get excited about just because the price range is a little bit easier on our wallets. Uh, but this actually is kind of a pricey tee. The Sick SS Top is going for $68.00. Uh, in my opinion, I just, I'm not a huge fan of this. I'm going to actually, let's get a closer visual of what this looks like. So this is the design. It's an interesting, uh, I guess, logo. It just says sick on the front. But I personally, for $68, I would love to have seen a bit more Supreme, I feel like, on the front of the t-shirt itself. The colors also are just so-so on this one. We've got like a baby blue, a red, a white, a gray, white and red so pretty standard colors what we typically see uh on supreme tees but again this logo is just it's so so in my opinion especially for like a 60 dollar tee i feel like we need a little bit more and it doesn't actually look like it's embroidered which is pretty crazy to me for that to be at that price point typically 60 dollars tees there's a little bit more premium something going on and i'm just not seeing anything premium on this one all right, next up we have the blue, the Blur Soccer jersey. This one's interesting. It kind of has like a tie-dye effect. And of course, we've got that blurred Supreme logo going across the jersey. Uh, definitely let me know if you are a huge fan of just collecting jerseys that Supreme drops. These are definitely something I feel like is always on somebody's radar just because there's a lot of jersey collectors out here. I don't really know how I feel about the blurred font on here. It actually is very difficult to see Supreme. I It looks like Surrey actually on there. Um, yeah, it looks, definitely looks like Surrey. Just uh, some cool tie-dye colors. I, I'm not hating on the tie-dye effect. Y2K vibes for sure, Big Daddy Cool Kicks. It does give a bit of a Y2K kind of fashion statement. And uh, that comes in like a, a baby blue, a red, and a black tie-dye print. Definitely something I feel like I could see bringing it back from uh, the uh, the Y2K era, 100% on that one. And then we've got some Jackard Stripe sweatpants for $148. Um, sweatpants, let's see what we've got on the sweatpants. We do have some Supreme logos on each end of these sweatpants. They do have a camo uh, printed pair, which is actually kind of sick. And then we've got like some neon tones intermixed in there and a standard kind of black, white, and pink, as well as like a navy and green. Uh, again, I don't think that these sweatpants are my favorite sweatpants that I've seen Supreme drop. Let's see what the price point is on those. Those are $148 too. So definitely, I feel like you're gonna have to love those sweatpants if you're gonna go for them. All right, so next up, we've got the Argyle Zip Up Vest. I'm not hating on this vest only because I don't know as far as like fashion goes right now. Have any of you heard of the grandpa aesthetic? Cause the grandpa aesthetic is really trending right now. And everybody is dressing, I guess in a way like, like a grandpa or grandma would. And I feel like this Argyle vest is definitely trending right now. This is definitely something I would see in a fashion magazine. Uh, but I, I actually don't mind this. I just wish it was a bit better price point, uh, but definitely have been seeing this all over uh, social media, these Argyle kind of vests that people are wearing. This is definitely something that is uh, very trendy right now. 
Definitely not going to get those. <laughs> Rob, I'm telling you. Rob's over here. He's trending. I'm getting it. Yeah, this is literally look up grandpa chic, grandpa aesthetic anything. It is actually a viral trend going on right now. It has become a thing. So, okay. Supreme's on it. I guess, I guess they know. Then we've got this wash corduroy zip up shirt. I'm not too crazy about this. Um, it's all right. I'm not even going to bring that up because it just looks like a standard button down shirt. Uh, it comes in like a, a light yellow, blue, beige, and a denim color. And then we've got a university top, which it looks like this is just another one of the tees that's going to be dropping. I'm going to pull this up closer to see what this looks like. All right. So this Ah, the Supreme is really tiny on this t-shirt. It's so small. I feel like you're going to have to use a magnifying glass to actually be able to read the Supreme font on here. Uh, yeah, I wish the font was bigger because the tees just look so oversized and it's weird, honestly, like seeing this uh, tee that's massive with this tiny, tiny, tiny Supreme writing on it. Um, colors are pretty basic too. We've got an orange, a green, a white, black, and a baby blue. So pretty standard colors on that one. Not something we haven't seen on a tee. And it looks like we've got a little bit of a collab here. This is a paint long sleeve and it's very artsy. Definitely has some cool colors on it. I don't really know the artist that's collabing on this. I haven't heard of him before, but um, it's not bad. I don't think it's the best item that's dropping this week. So I probably saved my money on this one, to be honest with you, especially since that's going to be $98 for that long sleeve crew neck. Then we've got the small box shirt. So as you know, I feel like every week or just in general, Supreme constantly has like the small box logo available on different types of pieces. So whether it's a t-shirt, whether it's a long sleeve crew neck or a hoodie, I feel like those have kind of been like their essential staple pieces that are always available online. So I feel like if this is something you're on the fence about, even if you pass on it, it's probably just going to be there on the website. And the Supreme logo is so tiny on these. You can barely see it, but you do have that red box logo. It comes in a beige, purple, black, uh, denim. I actually kind of like the denim pieces. I'm definitely into a good solid denim button down uh, collared shirt. I feel like that's definitely something that is a good staple to have that's gonna be timeless to have in your, your collection. You might grab it, Frankie boy, okay. Uh, but yeah, so that is something I definitely see will probably be available on the site all year, at least for this year. Then we've got a spread zip up hooded sweatshirt. Let's take a look at this. This is interesting. It looks like a, is that a chow chow dog on the back? I think it is a chow chow. So there's actually these hoodies and on the back of the hoodie, for those of you who can't actually see, uh, what this hoodie looks like, it's got a cute little puffy fluffy chow chow on the back of it and a girl that looks like she is shocked or frightened or something I don't know in a heart with a rose on the back of the arm there's a lot of there's a lot of print it says politicians something on the back as well um so yeah very interesting uh pieces that they decided to go with they were kind of all over the place i feel like with the selection of art on the back of these hoodies it comes in a bright orange a green a gray and a black uh this is definitely something i wouldn't expect to put on a to put on a hoodie to be honest it's it's almost like they just took the most random things and slapped on the back of the sweatshirt. Uh, but that sweatshirt is going for $178. Supreme looks like they're actually dropping a ton of denim pieces as well. So if you are a big Supreme denim person and you like buying their denim pants, this may be the week for you to get it because it looks like they're going to be dropping a lot of denim pieces on here. Uh, stone wash black slim jeans. Looks like some basic jeans, nothing too crazy, but those are going for $158. Then we have a champagne corduroy five panel hat. Let's look at the logo on this one. This is a weird cut for a hat. I think it looks weird with the corduroy. Let me know your thoughts on this corduroy hat, everyone. I think it's just odd. The shape looks odd. The corduroy with the shape looks odd. 
uh, and the font is really hard to read. Uh, this is definitely not my favorite font that I've seen Supreme put out there. Uh, and again, I typically like corduroy, but definitely not loving the shape of this five panel cap. It's going for $48. Um, then we've got some trucks for your decks as well, which those typically are always available on Supreme's website. So I wouldn't go crazy thinking those are going to sell out. We've got some cargo pants. We can all use a pair of cargo pants. Let's take a look at these. Looks like we've got some different prints on the cargo pants for week one. Uh, it looks like some interesting camo. I haven't seen camo like this before. It looks very splotchy. What are your thoughts on this camo, everyone? Do you like this camo? I feel like it's not my favorite, but you know, we do have your standard olive cargo pants, white cargo pants, and black cargo pants. It's, it's all right. It's not that great. Um, but those are going for 168. Uh, pretty basic. Then we've got some quilted flannel snap shirts. I feel like flannel shirts are having a major comeback because most of the stores I've been looking at lately, it's like half of their stock of clothing is all flannel shirts. Pretty crazy. Um, but that's coming in like a green and purple. Then we got like a kind of a salmon beige tone flannel shirt. And then we've got like more of a darker black and beige. And those flannel shirts are going for 148 too much. Yeah, it's, it's pretty pricey for a flannel shirt, to be honest with you. I don't know. Maybe it's the best flannel shirt you'll have in your uh, collection. Then we got this standard tee. This is very standard. What does it have on there? So it literally says the standard uh the standard of excellence 274-94 interesting i don't i don't really love this t-shirt it's very standard the one that's showing right now is in a neon yellow tone as well which is it's all right in my opinion that's going for 40 dollars. so it's definitely an easier price point than the t-shirts that i pulled up earlier Next up, we've got some cashmere sweaters. I love a good cashmere sweater. Let's see what they, they have for these sweaters, if there's going to be any Supreme font on there. All right, it doesn't look like we have any real Supreme logos on this uh, Supreme cashmere kind of crew neck sweaters. I do like the zebra print, though. They've got a zebra print option dropping this week. And then we've got a standard just kind of green, yellow, black, and a cobalt blue colorway. But um, it's not a crazy terrible price for a cashmere sweater, $248. Uh, and I do like that they're giving us a print on that cashmere sweater. Next up, we've got the jacquard stripe hooded sweatshirt. So let's take a look at this. This is an interesting sweatshirt. So Supreme is actually on the back of the hood itself. The one thing I don't like when Supreme adds anything on hoods, it, ma it really matters how your hood lays because if it's not laying right, you're not gonna be able to read it. Sometimes the Supreme gets hidden or you're cutting off some of the letters on there. So let me know your thoughts. Do you like when Supreme puts their logo on the back of the hood itself? Or do you prefer it just off of the hood so that you know it's lying flat and you can actually see the branding a bit better? Uh, but this is actually coming in some interesting color schemes. We've got a brown camo tone, a gray, a neon green, a navy, and a black. Uh, but other than that, nothing too exciting about that hoodie. And that hoodie uh, is going for $158. Then we've got some chino pants. Let's take a look at these chino pants. Ooh, we got some hot pink chino pants. That's kind of cool. And it looks like they're bringing in some snake skin on these chino pants. So if you're somebody who probably wants some hype pants to wear to work, these actually look quite comfortable. And they're bringing us some, some cool colors. We got a bubblegum pink pair of pants as well, which is not a typical pair of pants I see in that bright tone. Uh, definitely a very, very bright tone for Supreme um, on a work pant like that. But uh, those are going for 148 those chino pants. Okay, next up, we've got the rigid slim selvage jeans. Um, 
Looks like kind of similar to the other pair of jeans that I saw lower on the list, but those are going for 168. And then we have a baggy fit too. So it looks like Supreme has given you all the different fits. You can either choose from their baggy or their slim cut. And it looks like we've got dark denim and light denim. And uh, the slim cut is going for 168 and the baggier cut is going for 178. Okay, what else do we, we've got the small box logo sweatpants. So definitely if you're somebody who wants to like complete the look with the other box logo button down, this may be something you want to cop as well. Uh, but those are coming in some different color options. I haven't seen that bubblegum pink, but the newest one that I can't even tell what this print is. I'm not sure if those are flowers. It looks like a bit of a drawing of flowers and uh, nature of some kind. Yeah, the green is the green isn't so bad, Big Daddy. I, I don't I don't hate that. So yeah, the colors are just, you know, they're all right. I do kind of like that green as well though. It's it's different than what we've seen. All right, next up we've got some regular cut jeans. Looks like those are coming in some different colored variations. A pastel purple, a brown, and then a darker wash, as well as a light wash. And we've got some new Supreme uh, wheels for your board. These are actually some different wheels than what I've seen. I've got the red uh, wheels for my uh, skateboard or for my deck. It looks like they have it in black, but they also have a Supreme Spitfire Classic wheel, which actually is, in my opinion, a little bit better than the black uh, wheels. It's got this really cool kind of spin design on the side of it in red and black, of course, with the little box logo on the bottom as well. And um, of course, we've got some Supreme Hanes tagless tanks. Definitely, I feel like the Hanes pieces tend to, to sit on the site a little bit longer, but um, definitely a staple. If you're somebody who loves Hanes, I feel like it tends to be the most affordable of the collaborations that you see on Supreme site. But those tanks are in a three pack and they're going for $28. Uh, what's up, Domio? Good to see you all in here again. Whether you're joining me on TikTok, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, you name it. Happy to have you all in here. Make sure you're subscribed to the channels if you're not already. Uh, we're just going through Supreme's week one drop list. So definitely give me a shout out in the chat if you are a hardcore Supreme fan and you're excited for week one. Uh, we're just kind of going through the motions of what's top ranked right now. Next up, we've got a football zip up hooded sweatshirt. Um, how many of you had a team that won the Super Bowl this uh, weekend? Let me know in the comments. This looks to be like a basic kind of, I guess, zip up. We've got in different colors. We've got brown, black, and white with the number 34 on it. Looks like we've got a premium Supreme tag on the front as well. And uh, let's see what price range this is going for. So that is going for $178. And of course, for week one, two, we typically see a lot of Supreme bags dropping. So that's typically when I do decide to actually pick up my backpacks for the season. I feel like I just need to kind of take a chill pill on the bags just because I have so many Supreme backpacks right now in my collection. But it looks like they are mixing it up. We've got a cinch bag, which looks to be like a nice tiny little bag, you know, that you can have. Easy to kind of travel with. But uh, yeah, the cinch bag is, you know, it's all right. Let me see if I can shrink this a little bit. Zoom in there. There we go. So this is a cinch bag. It comes in a couple different shades. We've got a camo color, a black, as well as an orange and a navy. And then it's got Supreme that kind of encompasses the entire cinch pack. It doesn't look very big either. It looks like it's probably the size of a fanny pack and uh, kind of like the camo one. But I, I like these bags, especially when I'm traveling, just because I feel like I can like toss it in a backpack. So if I need a smaller bag when I'm going to another place, I can just pull it out and it packs really well. These are really light. And um, I'm now, I know if you can't see the bag, it's because I'm sharing my screen on YouTube. So if you want to actually see the pieces I'm talking about, you can 
head on over to my YouTube live, or you can actually go to Supreme Community and also follow along with me on the pieces I'm talking about right now. Uh, but these are the cinch bags. So nothing too crazy with the bags I'm dr that are dropping this week, in my opinion. They're just they're all right. Um, but that cinch bag is going for $78. And we've got the Weirdo Dave Corduroy Camp Cap. Let's pull this up because it looks like it's got some great kind of artistry work going on there. Let's see here. Let me click on this so it gets closer. Okay, so this looks like it's corduroy. This is actually kind of a sick looking hat. I don't mind it. It kind of looks like there's different photographs all over it. So you've got a dark pine green with the Supreme uh, box logo on the front of the cap. You also have a red or a black option, but it's very artistic. I, I don't mind this hat. I feel like out of the caps I've seen that they're dropping this week, this is probably by far the best cap. <laughs> by far the best cap. Uh, and I've been very picky with my Supreme hats because my collection is so massive. So I really feel like I have to love it if I'm going to pull the trigger on it. But um, the Weirdo Dave Corduroy Camp Cap is going for $58. All right, next up, we've got the Satin Hooded Track Jacket. I feel like somebody said they were thinking about getting the Satin Track Pants. Are you going to actually combine that combo with this uh, track jacket in satin. It comes in a black, brown, and navy. And then we've got the Supreme logo on one side of this satin zip up. And then it looks like we have another patch on the side as well. It looks like a pretty high quality patch. We've got some cinch uh, at the bottom as well. So you can actually cinch the bottom of this, which is kind of nice, but um, I'm not hating on this. It's pretty pretty classy looking. I feel like the tracksuit all together, the satin will look really uh, good together. What's up RX5 Fishing? It's been a minute. Good to have you back in here. Yeah, good to see everybody that I haven't seen in a while. Uh, sorry, it's it's been a minute since I've posted any content on Supreme, uh, but we're back at it for 2024. So excited to be back in here with all of you. Next up, we've got the small box uh, tee or I guess it's not really a tee, it's a long sleeve tee. This again, I feel like is gonna match perfectly with those sweatpants. Again, the small box, anything I feel like tends to sit on Supreme's website. So if this is something, you know, you feel like is gonna sell out, it's literally not going to sell out. These typically sit uh, for the entirety of the season in my opinion, uh, but the colors aren't bad. I actually like that coral or the green. The green is actually, it's more of like a seafoam kind of teal green tone. Uh, so if you're somebody who's looking for some spring colors, I feel like they're dropping some sick spring colors. These are pretty nice. And uh, this is not too bad on the price point. It's going for $68 again. The only thing I hate about it is that the logo is quite small. So if you're expecting to see this logo, when you see these up close and personal, it is so small. And you're gonna feel like you need a microscope, I'm telling you, to be able to look at it. All right, let's continue to the top of what we are most excited about uh, for week one. Next up, we have the tote bag. Let's take a look at this tote bag. I feel like, wow, this is a nice tote bag. I get frustrated sometimes because I buy backpacks or tote bags from Supreme and I feel like every year they just start upping their game. Uh, but this is a pretty sick tote bag. Honestly, if I hadn't have bought my tote bag a few years ago, I probably honestly would get this one. It, it looks like it has some weatherproof material on it. It's coming in four different colors, the same as that cinch bag that I was talking about earlier, orange, navy, camo, and black. Uh, but this definitely looks like a quality tote bag. So if you're looking for, you know, a good bag, don't don't pass on the Supreme bags. I feel like some of my best bags are all from the Supreme drops. Next up, we have the Wash Chino Twill Camp Cap, and that is going for $48. Let's take a look at these and see what they look like. So we've got a lot of different color variations. It's a pretty basic cap. I personally don't love this fit. It doesn't look as great on my head. I don't know um, how many of you are fans of this type of fitting cap, uh, but for me, I just look hilarious in them. So definitely pass on these ones, but it does come in different color variations. We've got a really nice kind of sorbet orange tone, purple, bright pops of lime green, navy, a nice kind of just cream tone, black tone, and Looks like Supreme's loving the snake print. So we're seeing a lot more uh, snake print on here than I'm used to seeing, but uh, there is that snake print option. And of course that box Supreme logo in front of that cap 
and that's going for $48. Next, we've got a duffel bag. I don't like duffel bags. I'm going to be straight up forward with all of you. I hate carrying duffel bags. I'm a roller type of person. Every time I brought a duffel bag anywhere on a trip, I regret it every single time. Uh, but this duffel bag actually is kind of cool. It's got a lot of different compartments. So if you're looking for a duffel bag where you can, you know, have some additional space on there, I feel like I like that it has these extra additional pockets on the outside of it itself. So I'm sure there's a lot of pockets on the interior, but it's nice to see that there's some additional pockets on the outside also. We've got in the same colorway. We're going still with that orange, blue, navy, and camo print. And that is going to be 178 178 Next up, we've got the St. Sebastian long sleeve tee. Let's take a look at this uh, and see what we've got going on with this design. All right. I don't know if I'm a fan of this one. Looks like it's a navy tone. We've got Supreme actually printed, though, everywhere. It's on each side of the left and right sleeve. And it looks like we've got... I don't know who we have. Oh, we've got some arrows. So it looks like somebody's been pretty much, uh, we've got some arrows going going all over the back or the front of this. It kind of is cool because it from a distance, it actually looks like a paisley print, which I was excited about. If, at first, I thought this was going to be more of like a handkerchief type of paisley print on it, but it wasn't exactly that. So not so excited about this one. And that's going to be going for $54. And we've got a reversible down puffer jacket. It's that time. It snowed here in New York. Shout out to everybody who uh, experienced the snowstorm today. It wasn't as crazy as I thought. Uh, did anybody get a ton of snow upstate New York? I don't know if anybody's in any of my chats right now. But um, we got some snow today. And it was kind of fun. Uh, we have been having a really weird winter in New York. And... Um, I feel like when they say it's going to snow a lot, we end up getting no snow. And we actually got quite a bit of snow, but it melted really quickly. It was really warm today. So the snow is pretty much gone. And people out here are on it when it comes to really just de-icing the roads. There is literally salt everywhere. There may be actually more salt than snow out here right now. Frankie in New Jersey, snow's already gone. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty crazy. Uh... <laughs> Tommy, you're hilarious. Um, yeah, for those of you who aren't seeing the images again, you can see these images on Supreme's community or you can see them on my YouTube uh, where I'm streaming it there as well. I'm sharing my screen with everyone. But uh, ah, thanks, Chan. I really appreciate it. This is definitely my fav one of my favorite Supreme jackets that uh, I will never, ever get rid of. People have tried to buy this denim jacket off me many times, but uh, I refuse to part with it. It's not going anywhere. But these puffer coats are reversible. Who doesn't love a good reversible jacket? It's like getting two for one. Uh, but the Supreme logo on this is so small. I just, I can't take it when uh, the jackets have the tiniest logo. So I was like, what's the point? It's literally a small baby logo on the puffer, but... It looks like there's some leather on the collar of these, and it comes in three different colors. You've got red, uh, evergreen, and a black tone in the puffer coat. And right now, it's the perfect time to release puffer coats because it's been pretty chilly in New York, at least for today. All right, and that's going for $2.98. That's pretty pricey, but I guess you're getting two for one technically since it is reversible. And uh, next up, we have the Shadow Tee. Let's take a look at this. So the shadow tee is, it's all right. It says immaculate underneath and it has like a shadow underneath it. I feel like this could be potentially a shade tee, like there's a shade underneath. Uh, nothing too crazy cool about the print on this though. It's just a basic looking tee. Not in love with that logo. It's not my favorite. That's going for $40. And then we've got some Futura pieces. We've done a lot of Futura pieces, I feel like on the channel. Um, Kobe 8's Warfire, yeah. Definitely, if you guys haven't caught up, I, I know I took a little bit of break on some of my unboxing videos, but we've got the Kobe 8 uh, Pro Tro video up as well as the Air Jordan 4. Uh, the Those are up, ready to go. And um, let's see what we've got here. Looks like a, a longer coat. 
and it comes in a camo, a green, and a black color scheme. That is the Futura Fishtail Parka. That's an expensive parka jacket. Ooh, $500. No, I'm going to I'm going to have to say no on that. Let's see if there's anything on the back. Okay, so we do have some print on the back. I was wondering if there was going to be any Supreme logo. So we do have the Supreme logo on the back. It's got some cursive writing, but it literally looks like chicken scratch. So I can't even read what this really says. So if you're paying $500 for that on the back, I feel like you could probably invest your money in something slightly more legible to be able to read this. Um, let's see, what else do we have? So we've got the football top coming up next. I like this, it's kind of a bit vintage like i really like the green and uh yellow there's a green and yellow color scheme that they're dropping and i actually i don't mind these long sleeve tees i really am into this vintage kind of feel and i like the color way that they dropped in the green and i like the red as well it's a nice red tone kind of a bordeaux but uh the other colors they're all right there's a black a white and a light blue as well and um it's got, you know, a cool print for the Supreme logo on the front of that. That is going to be priced at $110. And we've still got some more caps, man. Supreme is just dropping hats left and right for week one. This hat's $54. It comes in what looks like a camo kind of hunter pattern. And it just has the big S logo, which is nicely embroidered, I guess. And it looks like we do get a, a little cross on the top as well. That comes in a pink, uh, light kind of beige cream tone, black, teal, and navy. Uh, not the most exciting cap again that I've seen. Then we've got a faux fur jacket. I will say that the faux fur jackets that Supreme releases always look so good. And every time I get anything Supreme that's faux fur, I always feel like I get the most compliments on these jackets. I just honestly wish the price point was a little bit lower. $3.98 is just, woo. feel like you're buying some real fur there, even though it says faux fur, but uh, it looks really nice. It comes in a brown and kind of a silvery black shade. It has like a really nice aesthetic. I feel like in person, this coat actually might look better than what it looks like on the website right now. Uh, it's It looks really cozy, I will say, but something tells me the inner lining is not gonna be fuzzy as well. Yeah, it looks like they've got a quilted poly twill lining on this, but it's going for $3.98. Oh, I would buy it for $200, but not, not for that price. And I don't think that there is, oh, the Supreme branding is on the, interior of the jacket so that's the only way that you would really know that this was supreme it does look like it's got an additional i guess pocket on the inside as well but uh other than that that's that's not that exciting all right let's keep moving on so we've got some beanies i love a good supreme beanie listen in new york my ears get so cold anything i feel like lower than 40 degrees like if i don't have a beanie on my ears hurt so bad out here is it just me that has the problem or does anybody out there have problems with their ears freezing i just can't i i i need to have beanies to keep my little baby ears i have little tiny ears by the way sometimes they get lost in my my curls they're there but this is an over dyed beanie and I really actually like this beanie, especially the teal. There's only two that are tie dyed. So there's like a teal and darker shade of blue tie dyed beanie with a tiny little uh, bo or box logo on the front with Supreme. And then there's a red one that's tie dyed that I really like. And then other than that, there's just some basic colors. There's navy, Bordeaux. I think that's a lavender actually, a bright orange, a black and a beige tone. So a lot of different options there. I think I might have to get that uh, tie-dye beanie. I feel like I need that in my life. And I actually think that that tie-dyed Supreme beanie matches my SNS tie-dye puffer North Face um, Nupsy jacket. I don't know though. I feel like I'm gonna buy it and that's not gonna match it at all, but maybe I need to try. I need to try to go for that. That's $40. Um, next up, we've got the Supreme waist bag. So this again is coming in the same typical standard colors that we've seen, same four colors. Um, I don't need any more fannies, but fannies are definitely gonna be trending this year. So if you're not on that, that fanny pack game, 
you got to try it out. Don't knock it till you have a fanny on you and you've got all your essentials inside your fanny pack while also looking stylish, of course. All right. That's a different shape fanny pack too. I don't know how I feel about that one. It looks a little bit larger, maybe too large for, for my liking. Then we've got the Supreme Hanes t-shirt. So these are definitely like your essential pieces that I feel like sit on the Supreme website. Not something I'm too like gung ho or too crazy about, but they do have Supreme tees and it looks like it's gonna be in a gray colorway with the little tiny Supreme logo on the bottom there. And again, I think those are just gonna probably be sitting on the website and it comes in a two pack and they are selling for $32. All right, next up we've got a bucket hat. These bucket hats, are pretty cool it looks like we've got some different colors for camo that i haven't seen before we have like an orangey tone for a camo and also like a, a red and green combination which isn't typical and we've got a blue with some multicolors on there that's in a camo print and just a standard kind of washed dark denim uh shade still have your gore-tex yes you jacket that you haven't worn yet because in the winter san francisco doesn't get very cold yeah i feel like san francisco sits between that kind of 50 degree temperature but maybe you need to go out to the beaches because when i was walking my dogs and i went to the beaches it was really cold by the water especially like chrissy phil baker beach or like fort funston over there it gets chilly by the water in san francisco especially when the fog comes in and it's literally like pure moisture all over your face it gets a little chilly out there. I feel like I could probably wear my Gore-Tex uh, while I, I would walk the beaches out there if I still live there. Then we've got the Gradient Space Dye Beanie. This is interesting. I don't know how I feel about this. The Supreme is really hard to read. It's kind of a weird S. It actually doesn't look like Supreme. It kind of looks like a K. It looks like Cupreme. Um, but it is, it looks like this is crocheted and they're all in different kind of uh, color schemes. We've got more of like a camo color scheme for one of them, a black camo color scheme, and then more of like a vibrant, almost like a um, Jamaican color scheme for the third color option. And that beanie is going for $40. Whew, we got a lot on this list, everyone. Thank you for hanging in there. Week one is just uh, a heavy hitter. So next up, we've got the small box logo hooded sweatshirt. So as you saw earlier, if you are just jumping in now, I talked about uh, matching sweatpants that are gonna be releasing with the small box logo for Supreme on it, as well as a t-shirt option and a long sleeve crew neck option. Now we're getting to the hooded option. What's up, EY Designs? Welcome in, haven't seen you in a minute. Um, but same color options, we got the purple, the gray, uh, the green, and uh, pink and black as well. A lot of different colorway options. Looks like they're really pushing for some orange this year. And that's going for $148. Then we've got the Future sweater, which looks to have the same exact print as we saw in that longer jacket. Uh, but this time we're looking at a sweater. Again, it's got some nice cursive writing on here. Let's see what it says. Something about spirit, you and me. Real wisdom is to know C3. I cannot read this. I'm struggling reading this cursive, except that I do see New York, London, Tokyo, Chicago, like all the locations where the Supreme stores are. Uh, but this, is, it looks like a comfy sweater. If you're a Futura fan, this may be something you want to pick up. Um, it's kind of artsy, I guess. It has this nice artsy feel to it. Uh, that comes in this army green. It looks like a navy with red print and then a black and white uh, tone. So different, it's it's subtle, you know, I'm not, I don't hate it, but it's definitely not my favorite sweater that I've seen. Then we've got some Gore-Tex. For those of you who haven't tried Gore-Tex um, uh, for any of the Supreme drops, by the way, like some of the Gore-Tex pieces are my favorite. This one's pretty basic though. It's got Supreme on the front and it comes in three different colors, a light blue, a kind of yellow and olive green tone. And that looks like an all black option. Gore-Tex, though, definitely a little bit higher price point, but again, it's because it's Gore-Tex. That is going for $2.98 for that anorak. Then we've got some useful pieces here. We've got Supreme Mechanics Leather Work Gloves. 
So let's take a look at these um, gloves. Let me see where, okay, yeah, let me bring that down. These are pretty cool. I feel like if I if I needed these gloves to use while you know I was working or something, I, I would have to buy these, but it comes in a black leather and it looks like a red leather and black tone. But uh, I know this is a good brand, Mechanics. So if you are in need of like a high quality glove, Supreme is dropping it this week and it comes in two different colorways. Price point is going to be $58 for those gloves. Um, next up, we've got the Patchwork Tee, which is going for $40. It looks like it's got a nice kind of cool print on the back as well, but very simple on the front. It's just a navy tee. Looks like we've got Supreme in white. And then let's take a look at the back side, actually, of that tee real quick to see what is on the back. Ah, oh, the back is actually kind of sick. Ooh. I actually like this tea, everyone. This is kind of cool. So on the back, it literally looks like different types of patchwork has been sewn on the back of this t-shirt. So literally looks like somebody sewed this patchwork together, but it has a cute little dinosaur on the back that I think is adorable. We got some peace signs back there. Uh, yeah, I'm not hating this tea at all. Bring this one up. Yeah, this isn't, this isn't terrible. I wasn't expecting to see that on the back of this, but it actually has drawn me to wanting to pick up this tee a little bit more. All right, so now let's see. We've got, uh, of course, the backpacks like I was talking about earlier. So typically for Supreme Week 1, that's when Supreme decides to just really push all of their bags. Um, they drop all of their backpacks, usually just kind of subtle changes. Let's see what this backpack looks like in comparison. So again, same colorway as the other duffel bag, the cinch bag, the, um, uh, the tote bag, same colors. We've got the camo print, the black, the orange, and the uh, navy blue. But it does kind of have a textured pattern to it. You've got the Supreme logo, uh, box logo, as well as Supreme going down the front half of the bag itself as well. And uh, just in some simple colorways, except for that camo print. All right. That one is going for... 158. Again, I mentioned earlier, I have so many Supreme backpacks. So I've been very particular on which Supreme bags I decide to pick up for the future just because I have to be conscious of my space out here in New York. Really limited on that, but um, it's an okay backpack. Not my favorite of the backpacks I've seen, but uh, you know, definitely got some options colorways. So next up is the Supreme Crew 96 T. So let's look at this graphic. Um, it looks like a New York kind of vintage shot that they added on here. And it says, now you can get what you want on it. This is a beige tone that I have in front of me with a light pink tone for the Supreme logo. And I, I don't hate this. I kind of like the photograph that they decided to go with for the print on the front of this. Uh, it's not too crazy there. I, I like what it says as well on the quote on the bottom of that. And I actually like this tone and that t-shirt is going for $40. Next up, we've got the shoulder bag. I typically am drawn to the shoulder bags, but again, another piece that I just have too many of. And, uh, you know, let's take a look at the shoulder bag so you can kind of see, uh, same colorways hasn't changed there with the uh, option. Looks like it's the same camo, navy, and black tone. And let me just shrink that so you guys can see what that looks like on my screen. Whoops. I think we sized that out actually a little too big, but um, yeah, not too excited about that shoulder bag. It's going for $54 and we do have a couple deck options. So if you're somebody who collects the Supreme decks, they do have some decks that will be dropping. And um, let me just see what this looks like on here. All right. Let me pull this up so you guys can see it larger. It comes in four different colorways. Again, the same colorways as I guess the sweater option that you all saw earlier and the jacket option, which is a blue, a gray and olive and black tone. And it's got that same kind of cursive writing on it as you saw on the sweaters. 
and uh, yeah, some pretty basic color schemes. Not hating on the deck, but not my favorite decks as well that I've seen Supreme release. Those decks are going for $60, and then it looks like we've got some mini duffel bags. So if you're not a fan of the big duffel bags, well, looks like they're giving you the option to get some smaller sized duffels. This is actually not so bad. I don't hate the mini duffels, but again, coming in the same colors, the orange, the navy, the black, and that camo print tone. And that is going for $98. Next up, we're getting to some of the accessories. So for those of you who want to be Edward Scissorhands, this could be your lucky day to be the hype Edward Scissorhands because they have supreme head shears. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so you can cut your hedges and look super hype outdoor. And uh, yeah, that will be um, quite interesting, I guess, if, if that's something you want. Sorry, everyone. It looks like my face kind of dropped. Off. Oh, there it is. My, my face is back. Sorry, my camera went to sleep there for a second. Thanks, Big Daddy. I wouldn't have known that it was gone, but uh, I think my face is back. So we've got some shears. If you want to cut your hedges outside, you could look really sick with these uh, Supreme shears in red. And those are going for $110. All right, next up, we've got some Supreme Hanes socks. So again, the Supreme socks are definitely just basic socks. These typically sit on the website pretty much all season round. And uh, it's going to be in a gray and red color scheme. And those are going for $24. So not a terrible price point. Next, we've got the collegiate hooded sweatshirt. Uh, this is okay. I mean, again, pretty basic font. Supreme is on the front. We've got a beige, a coral, a green, a gray, black, and a navy shade dropping. So pretty simple shades and nothing too crazy about this hoodie to say the least. Uh, just a very simple print on the front of the hoodie itself. And that hoodie is going to be going for $158. Next up, we've got another one of the accessory pieces dropping, which is the Delta Carabiner in gold and metallic. It's got Supreme on the front of that. So if you're somebody who likes carabiners, uh, I used to rock carabiners all the time on my keys, but um, this one's pretty simple. It's not, not too bad. I mean, I feel like it's a good price point as well. And that is going for, let's see, $28. Next up, we have another deck. Supreme deck that's dropping. So pretty basic deck. It looks like it just has the Supreme box logo going across it in red. And it's got like a wood uh, texture to it, a light wood texture. And then we also have it in black and that's going for $60. And that's the routed box logo skateboard. Okay, next up, we've got the big logo chenille Versi jacket. So I feel like this is definitely uh, one of the key pieces that people have been talking about, and that reason being this is a CPFM actual design. One of the things that is really hard to see is that it's actually CPFM. So if you're a cactus plant flea market fan, this may be something that you really want to go after. Uh, the unfortunate part is there's no CPFM branding on this, which is so sad. I can tell because of the font, it is, uh, you know, the CPFM font, but again, it's so massive as well that it says SUP on the front and then it wraps all the round to the back to spell out Supreme. Comes in three different colorways, Big Daddy Cool Kicks. I'm with you on the wheat color variation. And that would actually match my Supreme Air Force One wheat color. So if you have those Air Force Ones in that color, you may have to snag this varsity jacket. Uh, it is a steep price, 568 feel like we should probably get some collaboration branding for that price point. Uh, it is, I guess, satin quilted lining. We've got some leather on there, but, um, and it looks like cowhide leather sleeves. It's dropping in three colors. We've got red, black, and that wheat tone. Definitely have to go with the wheat if I were to choose uh, out of the three different colors. Sorry, everyone. It looks like um, my face just dropped because I think my battery died on my phone, but don't worry. I'm going to be back here with you all in a moment. So hopefully you can at least still hear me. Uh, let's see what we've got. Next up, we have the Ralph T. For those of you who are Muppet fans, throw your hands up. This is 
Ralph, and he looks really cute. Looks like he's got different portraits of himself. A cute little Muppet dog, and um, yeah, he's pretty cute in this Bordeaux tone, for sure. <laughs> you haven't seen me in six months. Marius Johnson, where you been? Good to see you back in here. Uh, and Jay Renaissance, we got a lot of people hopping in. For those of you just jumping in right now, we are going through Supreme Week One drop list. Bear with me on the live for my uh, horizontal format. My camera just changing the battery real quick. Uh, so hopefully we'll get my face back on camera. But uh, if not, jump on a different live streaming anywhere else and you probably still see my face. Okay, there's my face. I'm back. I'm back, everyone. Sorry to have left you. Um, but the Ralph T is going for $48. And if you're a Ralph fan, you might have to snag that. Next up, we have the Supreme Mac Tools tote tray. And uh, that tote tray, pretty useful, especially if you have tools. I barely have any tools. So this is probably not something that I'm going to pick up. But if I had tools, I would probably buy this. And that's going for $98. It's coming in a black and red color scheme. What's up, Anthony? Good to have you in here. And um, it has the massive Supreme logo on the side, but definitely again, just accessories for Supreme have been killing it because this is something useful. If I had tools, I literally would need to buy this, but I don't have any tools. So gonna have to pass on that. Uh, next up, we've got some bandanas. These are pretty nice. So we've got three different color bandanas, a blue, a black, and a red. We've got Supreme's logo on there. So if you're a fan and you wear bandanas, this may be something that you need to snag. And that is going for a price point of $22. So definitely a more affordable accessory piece that Supreme is dropping this week. Next up, we have the Maradona tee. If you are any, any Argentinian or Argentina soccer fans out there, anyone? uh anyone 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 uh this has him on the front and actually uh is a cool photo of him especially if you were a fan of him uh this may be something you'll have to snag it's in a nice bright red tee and that's going for 48 dollars adam they'll sell out quick are you an argentina fan oh we've got some messy messy fans out there i know of course we've got some messy fans Futura box logo T. We've seen the Futura logo many times. Um, this isn't something that excites me, but if you are a Futura fan, you like the, the print of that, this may be something you have to go for. I have it on my screen right now in this like sky blue tone. And uh, let's see how much this t-shirt's going for. That one's going for $44. Next up is an another accessory. Any truck driver toy collectors out there? Because it looks like they're going to be dropping a first gear truck. And it's coming in three different colorways. If you're a truck driver, definitely need to snag this. It has the Supreme kind of blurred out logo. And it's a white truck, a neon green truck, and a black truck. It's maybe something actually I feel like I could put on my wall. It is kind of expensive though. It's $120 for this truck. So it, it's pretty pricey for a toy, but I feel like it looks like it's gonna be pretty high quality. It looks very realistic. Uh, you're a collector, but you're not copping the, you're not getting the truck, Rob, why not? <laughs> Mr. Swimmer, football, not soccer. Did your team win Mr. Swimmer this weekend then or was your team not in the Super Bowl? Yeah, for any soccer fans out there, this this could be something, you know, you might have to pick up uh, that t-shirt that's dropping this week. And then last but not least, the top ranked item is actually a free gift. Uh, and that free gift is a Silly Straw. How many of you remember Silly Straws? Because I love Silly Straws. So this is really nostalgic that they're actually bringing back a Silly Straw and it's actually going to be a free gift. Unfortunately, it looks like most people who are going to be able to get this Silly Straw, which actually spells out Supreme, and it looks like this is probably a, a reusable straw as well. I've never quite understood, honestly, though, how to really clean these type of straws, so I don't know if this is going to be a one-time use straw or if you're actually going to be able to really clean it. But the Silly Straw will be an item that you will get with your in-store purchase. And then if you're going for Supreme pieces online, 
you may be a lucky one of the few to actually get this sent because it's going to be pretty random, it looks like, uh, with your in-store purchases and online orders. So good luck to everybody who is hoping to get the Silly Straw. Unfortunately, it looks like there's no guarantee that you're going to get the Silly Straw, but I'm pretty obsessed with this. I think it looks really cool. Uh, it says that this is a mock-up only, but um, I'm really excited. I hope I, I'm able to get at least the straw this week. Uh, which definitely means I have to buy something because you can't get the straw unless you purchase something. But let me know in the comments, what are you all most excited about for week one? So again, Supreme week one is starting this week on Thursday. I don't know why, but I feel like I feel like tomorrow is Thursday for some reason, or even almost like I feel like today's Friday. It could be the snow, and I feel like a lot of people took work off today. Uh, but we're back at it. Supreme is starting out for week one. We've got a couple leaks of pieces that are gonna be potentially launching. I'm pretty honestly excited about most of the accessories that are gonna be releasing for this season. I feel like accessories has just been the easiest pieces for me to pick up just because of space. You're getting the Diego tea. Okay, Mr. Swimmer, nice. Uh, <laughs> I hope they give me a straw <laughs> big daddy. I really do. But uh, yeah, for those of you as well that um, weren't able to cop a pair of my apothecary socks, I just want to give you all a heads up. Those are going to be releasing again. We were able to get a restock on each of the different colors. So be sure to check the apothecary site tomorrow for my collab that I did with them for the slouch shock. We've heard such amazing feedback, by the way, on these socks. It seems like this has become everyone's staple go-to sock to wear every single day. So if you have not purchased my apothecary collab socks definitely don't sleep on it tomorrow because those sold out so quickly the first time around and I was really sad because I know a lot of people really really wanted uh, to snag a pair of those socks but uh, definitely check out apothecary's site tomorrow when they reload their website uh, the socks are absolutely incredible so excited to see that they were able to restock for those of you who missed out on that first drop uh, but this will be the second drop and I'm not sure if we're going to be bringing the socks back so definitely snag a pair while supplies uh, last um, and definitely let me know have you guys gotten a pair of those socks what do you think about them are you obsessed with them just as much as I am just as much as everyone else is and uh, yeah, so good luck to everybody who is going to be going after anything from the drop this week. Really excited to hopefully pick a few items up. Again, I feel like I'm going to definitely be pacing myself though as far as what I do decide to go after just because I am running out of space and Supreme has been kind of up and down for me. And I'm really hoping that they drop some really fire collabs this season. But of course, we never really truly know. Um, but so happy to be back with my Supreme family. Uh, I've missed you all. I know I haven't done a drop list in a minute, but hopefully for 2024, we're going to be doing a lot more lives. And definitely if you haven't already stopped by to check out my She Speaks Sneakers podcast with Mons, you'll have to stay tuned and hit those notifications as soon as we do another one of those episodes, which potentially will be this week or potentially the start of next week. And happy Valentine's to everybody tomorrow. I can't believe, I guess today it's Galentine's Day. So thank you everybody for hanging out with me on Galentine's Day. Uh, this is really special. And um, I guess Supreme is technically red. So it was perfect to do this drop list tonight. Um, but again, be safe out there, everyone who is driving in snow, especially those who I guess are in upstate New York. So I feel like you got a bit more snow than we did in the city, but stay safe out there. Again, if you're not already subscribed on my channels, be sure to do that now. Give these videos a thumbs up if you enjoy me going live. I really enjoyed spending time with you all this evening and uh, stay tuned for our next live. And again, good luck to anyone who will be going live for Supreme this Thursday. Really excited for all the pieces to be dropping. Again, um, let me know what you're going to be going for and whether or not you're going to be going for pieces online or if you're going to be going in store to pick up any Supreme items. But um, they've got a very full drop list 
going on this week and uh, I'm excited to see what you all are able to cop. So wishing you all the best of luck and I hope that you all have the most amazing evening. And again, be sure to be safe out there, everyone. I hope that you all have